<laughs> Alicia, this is no longer your home. This is the dark realm where I rule. In two hours, the clock will strike midnight, and your 15th birthday will arrive. When that happens, you and I will become one, and together we will obtain eternal life. My... my 15th birthday? Are you looking forward to it? So am I, my dear. So am I. I can't wait. Soon we two will be united forever. <laughs> Alyssa, you might have defeated two of our number, but your mother was killed by a subordinate long ago. No! You're lying! She can't! If you don't believe me, you can go to hell and see for yourself! <laughs> to the others, but you're no match for me! You're going to die by my hand, girl! <laughs> Trick. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. Oh, nice trick. <laughs>
marry a man like you, a man with no spine, no spirit.
My sweet Alyssa, her small hands have grasped my heart and will not let go. But to think that the father of my beautiful granddaughter is Philip, it is more than I can bear. I consented to the marriage so as to protect the ruder bloodline. I realize now that was a foolish mistake. The man lacks class and has not a shred of dignity. He loses no opportunity to exhibit his stupidity and weakness of character. We Hamiltons have no place for men of that nature. Even Nancy has been affected by his rubbish, saying that she does not want to raise Alyssa to be a ruder. Of course, the existence of a ruder is fraught with danger. But given the gravity of the situation and the great responsibility of a ruder family, the obligation cannot be shirked. Any attempt to avoid such a duty is indeed shameful. As long as I am the head of this house, that man will never be accepted as one of us. Finally, Philip went too far. I could no longer allow him to defy me. But that headstrong act has turned me into a vile murderer. I must carry my secret to the grave. I cannot allow the ruder line and the Hamilton legacy to be disrupted. There is nothing to be done but handle the police carefully and tread with the utmost caution.